Hey guys, what's up? So, um, let me get comfy here. <laughs> I wanted to, um, ask you guys a question. Sorry, my nose itching. I'm itchy. Ah! Um, sorry. I wanted to ask you guys a question. Um, my question is to you all. Have you ever had, like, a dream nightmare, per se? Um that scared you so bad that you didn't want to go to sleep like ever again um i've been up for over 24 hours i woke up at one o'clock yesterday have not been to sleep since it is now 602 um friday and i've been up since thursday um i've been up for 24 hours and like i really do not plan on sleeping ever again i had the worst nightmare of my entire life like, I've had nightmares all the time. Like, I get them really bad in August because that's when something really traumatic happened in my life. So, I get that same nightmare and relive that every August, which really sucks. It's a reoccurring dream. And then, like, I have nightmares, like, all the time. I rarely ever have a good dream unless, like, I've had a good day or I have somebody really awesome, like a boyfriend or something like that, that's sleeping next to me. That's the only time I have good dreams. Sometimes I'll still have nightmares, but that's the only time I really have good dreams. And my dream catcher doesn't even work, I think. Um, you know, I believe in all the dream catchers and stuff like that. And I really don't even think it works for me anymore. Like, it's just like, oh, you have too many bad dreams. We're going to stop working. Damn you, dream catcher. <laughs> um, but I had the worst nightmare it's worse than my reoccurring dream my reoccurring nightmare because that one i mean that one um i get it every year since i was 14 and um so i'm used to it now but this one it just i have to keep moving my hair the the ac is blowing it in my face um this dream really just scared the living hell out of me i woke up probably more than six times in the night um screaming and crying my eyes out and it was so bad um like everything that happened in this nightmare is stuff that has actually happened to me like it went back to when i was like 14 and that reoccurring dream happens from what happened um it was stuff like that and like it was like a thousand fold worse and i i am terrified to sleep I, like, have been texting my friend Jake, and I'm like, dude, I'm going insane. I have not slept. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm too scared to go to sleep. I don't know what to do. Um, he said he would make me a dream catcher, and, you know, I'm actually really considering having him make me one because maybe his will help me out a lot better or something. I don't know. I've had the same dream catcher since I was 11, and I had didn't have nightmares up until I was 14 um, after all this stuff happened and everything and it's just it's really really scary because I don't know what I'm gonna do um, like I don't know maybe I need like somebody to sleep next to me for a night or something like that for me to be able to get some sleep I'm obviously wide awake right now because I laid in a tub of ice cold fucking water for like two hours just to wake myself up and I'm going to continue to do this because I don't want to sleep. I am too scared. I fell asleep for maybe about five minutes and it, it happened again and I'm like okay I'm not sleeping anymore. Screw this shit. I'm done. No more sleeping for me. I'm tired of it. <laughs> I mean I've had nightmares and I'm so tired of them and there's just nothing I can do. Um, and, like, I know somebody's going to probably ask, like, some people are going to probably ask, and no, I really don't think this is the inner workings of an inner demon, because I really don't believe I have an inner demon, because it's never shown through before, so I wouldn't think about it. And plus, there was no monster in my dream, there was, like, no demon, it was a physical person that I have seen before, and they just ruined my world in one night. And every time I woke up screaming... And I fell back. I finally fell back asleep. The dream would continue where it left off, and it wouldn't let me get up until, it, until like it was a like a pause point for this person. When this person stopped, that's when I would wake up. When they stopped like ruin like messing me up, um, that's when I'd wake up. 
and then I fell back to sleep, and it, the torture would begin again. And it was just so horrible, and it eventually ended up with me dying, and that's what woke me up the final time, and I said, I can't handle this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I am terrified out of my mind. So, like, I honestly don't know what to do. Um, but, like I said, my question to you guys is, have you ever had a dream where it was so bad that you just don't want to sleep? I mean, I'm to that point where I'm just like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I should go have another sleep study done or what I should do. I had a sleep study done a couple years back for my dream activity and it's it's really weird um and they said that my brain activity when I sleep is very 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 high like the nightmares just they won't let me wake up and it's really bad um like um I, I, like I can kind of tell you guys the dream I have every year in August um it is not it's not really bad until uh August 2nd that's the day that it's the worst like it, it leads it it like starts a couple of days before and then it gets really really bad around August 2nd because that was the day it happened and then it's kind of slows down and I don't get as bad afterward like a couple of days afterwards but like I would I won't wake up from this dream it is I can't wake myself up from this dream but I have literally punched my ex in the jaw and almost broke his jaw from punching him so hard because I was fighting in my sleep. There was nothing I could do about it and what woke me up was him shaking me and like holding me and telling me to stop. He had me like this to get me to stop punching him. I was literally beating the shit out of him in my sleep and I felt so bad. I cried for hours and I didn't want to go back to bed. It was just, it was horrible. I just, ugh, I have a fucked up mind, I guess. I don't know what to do. Ugh, I need inner workings of a friend, a good friend. I need a hug. <laughs> I need a hug. Yay. That's what I told him. I was like, I need a hug. And he's all in fucking Orlando. I think he's actually back home now, back here in Citrus County. And I was like, I need a hug. But you can't give me one to like next week. Cause fucking fuck fuck shit. <laughs> oh god. Um I did mess myself up earlier. Like I got up out of my chair to go get something and like I guess I stood up wrong and like bent my ankle like my, okay, my legs I can't do my leg, but it was like and I was like, ah, I can't walk. So I had to like lay on my bed for like an hour and try really hard not to fall asleep. And I am wide awake. I am refreshed and everything. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go take me a walk here soon because sun's starting to go down, so it's starting to get cooler out. So yeah, I'm gonna go take me a walk soon and stuff just to kind of clear my head. Cause I mean, I'm thinking about a lot. Um, not only this dream, but I'm thinking about a lot about somebody and everything like that and I don't know I just really really need to get my head clear and just slow my freaking roll but I'm going to end this video because it is really long but I got to thinking I was like you know it's not a juggle at JMA video if it's not really freaking long <laughs> so yeah but um answer my question um have you ever had a dream that was so bad that you didn't want to sleep ever again um, to that point? And I don't know when the next time I'll sleep is. I don't care if I have to stay up for a week straight. I don't know whenever I will sleep again. I guess I'll find out whenever I decide to pass out. <laughs> okay, guys.